and welcome to today's how-to video. Today I'm going to change a fixed quarter light for an open quarter light on this 75 bus. Here's the quarter light here. First job, strip out, take door card off, door handle, catch, winder, and uh, let's get started. First part of this job is pretty simple. Stripping out the uh, door handle, winder, and the catch mechanism. So, and this one, simply pull the plastic back, cross head screw inside, take that out. These screws are really hard to come by, so uh, what I tend to do is clip it back in there. That's not going to fall out and get lost while you're doing the job. Same with these, fill of screw, nice and easy. That's it. I know these are aluminium billet handles, but uh, it's the same method with your original VW style handles. Okay, this. To get to the screw behind the, uh, the door handle, there's a little catch, little finger plates there. And uh, there we go. I use a, uh, well, you can use a screwdriver, whatever you like, as long as it gets in there. Some of these older ones get a bit stiff, so I've got this uh, hook which can just sit behind the finger plate and be really gentle because they get really brittle the older they get. This one, fortunately, is not in too bad shape. So then there's a screw which sits directly behind the handle. As long as your screwdriver is going in straight, you should get it square. Once again, these screws are a very specific size. So then that simply pops off there. What I like to do is make sure I'm not going to lose it. Pop it back in the hole. And pop the finger plate back over the top. You're not losing that screw then. Okay, then there's, this one's got an additional door pocket. Which is nice and easy. Nice and easy to come off. Check all the screws on the floor in the van. And the door card itself, let's just run it out a little bit. The door card itself is pretty simple to get off. Just give it a choke so you can get your fingers behind it. And these clips, the factory standard ones, they just pop out the holes. Taking a little bit of care when taking that off there so you don't break anything. Yeah, you see, on the rear of here, just got these, these are the original factory clips and they're just locating these holes. As you can see with this one most of the rubbers that sit inside these holes are missing. You'll find that with most of these because of the age of the vans. Okay next job is the quarter light itself. There's a fixing here for the quarter light 10 millimeter nut and there's a Phillips head screw that sits up here inside the window rubber channel. So as you can see I can't get to that, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop the winder back over the hole and I'm just going to wind the glass down a fraction so I can get to it. By winding the glass down, it also enables me to get to these two 10mm fixings here. And I need to undo these two and drop the glass down out of the way. Just going to pop and get a 10mm. So I'm just using a 10mm uh, ratchet. Pop that in there. Right. Yeah, we 
take that out and the washer on the back. Invariably you're going to drop the washer down this hole. Don't worry about it, it's going to come out down here and you can rescue it. And there's these two 10mm fixings here. So now I can lift the glass off the runner. It seems to be clear, clear of that. Just give it a gentle touch of cord at the same time. And the glass gently pop down into the door. What that's done is enable me to push the glass right over to the edge of the door because we need to clear this upright from the course light frame here. Next job, we need to pull the uh, felt channel out of the runner, which you can do with your pick again, or your screwdriver, whatever you're using. There we go. Just give that a gentle tug out. There we go. You don't need to take this out completely. This fan's got uh, some chrome wind deflectors, whatever you want to call them. Just going to pop those out as well. This is not a factory thing, somebody's put these on as a uh, an extra accessory. going on can you? Then, as I said, there's a uh, Phillips head fixing which lives up here. Normally, this one's a little tight one. Okay, this one's come away pretty easy. Okay, and that enables the force light to be free. So, this one is catching slightly on the uh, ground surround. Sometimes, you have to bend the tag. A little bit so it doesn't catch on the door frame. So that's what this one doing there. Give it a bit of a bend. There you see, it's come away. So that is still catching. But that's the uh, you see this here? This is the clip that holds the felt channel into the into the door there. Sometimes of course like catches on that. These you can see with this tag here simply push into place. So to get them out just slide your screwdriver behind it and push it down. Dead easy. Don't lose them. Okay so now of course like it's virtually out. What I like to do is split the course like into two pieces. So there's another screw at the top here. Which you can undo. These don't always come undone, so if you can't do this bit, don't worry, you can get it out in one piece. I just find it easier to do it in two pieces. So now, of course, once two pieces, I can take this piece out. Now, all I've got to do is worry about getting the upright out. Easy, you say. <laughs> no, this is the tricky bit. So, before I go too much further, what I like to do is grab a bit of tape. And just pop that 
on the top of the door here. You can see why in a second. So this is loose now. And the, the whole frame needs to move in this direction. See, these two rubbers make your life a little bit tricky. Oh, there we go. And, and that's just, and you can pull it slightly upwards. Bring it upwards. Make sure you try and back there. Can you see this? This sits underneath the section in the door here. Imagine that's where this fix is here. There's a flat section in the door. So we, rather than you just being able to lift this straight out, you've got to pull it back in this direction. That's the hard bit because these rubbers get in the way. But fortunately for me, this was a nice easy one. And the reason the tape was up there, because as I'm pulling this up, this rubs against the door frame here. I don't want to scratch the paint working more than you do. Okay, let's take a look at the new pieces. Nice genuine BW. This is the seal that sits inside the coarse light frame. Here's the new opening coarse light. There's a new upright seal. And here's the, the frame itself. As you can see, it's identical to one I've just taken out. In fact, it's an opener. So there's a, a rivet fixing this here, rather than the screw which I've just taken out the old one. It's making it nice and easy. So first job is to pop this seal inside this frame. It's a fiddly job. But, uh, it should only take a couple of minutes. The only thing you've got to remember, you see this section here? These two areas here, they need to sit right inside the frame here. There's uh, two lips for that to sit inside. I'm just going to do that. See you in a second.
So that's the uh, quarter light assembled, complete. I've got it closed up to make it nice and easy to fit back in the van. I've tightened up the 10mm fixing on the bottom. I've put a bit of grease inside the channel here because you can't get to this once it's back in the van. You can hide it behind this panel in the door. And last thing you want is this going, going rusty and snapping off. So next job, you're going to pop it back in the van. Tricky spin. Let's get it down between these two rivers here. So what I like to do, pop a bit of silicon grease down between the rubbers, just a touch of grease there, just helps to slip it in the hole. to make sure these course light, these window scope frames, stay where they're supposed to be. Okay, so, remembering about the tag, this was a pain, and we're getting it out. So on the inside of the door, the slide, the new frame and between the rivers. Hopefully, okay, yeah, there we go. Now remember this tag from one second to the out. Just going to move it this way back. And that one allows to push it down. You see why well, you've got tape up here now? It's rubbing hard on that. Once it's down, so we can get that tip. Like that. Make sure your scope is in the right place. And you start to push the frame up in the hole. Perfect. Just making sure the rubber on this outside edge is all lined up. Rubber on this inside edge, that's all lined up, that's good. If it's not lined up, of course, all you need to do is get your nylon tool, or your screwdriver, whichever you've got, and just run it along the edge, all the way around, and that will ensure the rubber a nice flush fit underneath the door here. Just make sure that's all right, and in here, where the terminal fixing was, I can now see clearly the terminal fixing hole, so I know that's going to line up. Looking back up here, let's find where the screw was. Yep, that lines up nicely. I'm just going to get the screw. And I'm going to pop the screw off of the terminal fixing hole. Pop the screw in. This is the one that had the washer on it. So, these are my fingers aren't going to fit in that hole. If I try and push this in the end of here, if I try and push it in there, what's going to happen is that's going to disappear inside the right shed. So, what you can do is take a 10mm nut and put it down inside the hole. Just going to grab one. Okay, and the final part of this job is pop the door card back on. That's exactly the reverse the way we took it off. And we put the screws back in, screw back behind the finger plate there, 
and the screw behind the wipe arm. I set this one to an extra pocket, and that's it. Job's done. Beautiful quarter light. Nice bit of fresh air on your uh, drives down to the beach. All right. I've been Woolly. You've been at Woolly's workshop. Thanks for watching.